in this lecture we are going to learn about virtual functions so what are virtual functions again it's used in inheritance okay so for example that we take here is we have one animal class and it has two methods okay so let's look at its method so we have one animal class and it has two attributes age int age and int weight okay then we have its constructor and destructor okay so let's try to see now what happens we have its get set age methods and we have two functions for the animal that is common to all animal is they speak and they move so now what happens is we derive a dog class from animal class because there is one is a relation between dog is an animal so the dog has one extra attribute its breed if you see here so this is a string attribute and now we also overwrite the methods the speak and move so that dog so animal for animal it was just animal speaks animals move okay but here you have now specifically i know a dog barks and similarly a dog can run at 50 kilometers per hour okay something some some speciality about dog which is different from the general animal you could have made a cat class where the cat would have mewed and its speed was let's say 30 kilometer per hour so now what happens is what is virtual function so it provides kind of what is known as polymorphism okay so let's look at what do you mean by polymorphism so in this what happens what we want is we have a pointer to the base class okay so we have a pointer to the base class but because all the derived class like if you have animal okay and we know that okay a dog is also an animal cat is an animal and you have horse also as an animal okay so all these are animals and all of them will have therefore the function speak and move but now what we want is that if we create a base class let's say animal okay so animal star pointer to animal okay something like this if we create then we want that this base class pointer should be able to work for all different objects of type dog, cat and horse. So all the derived class objects it should be able to point to. So in that case this is provided by the C++ and we are doing here animal. So star P animal a pointer to animal is new dog. We allocate pointed to a dog object now if we call p animal arrow speak so this method is called and p animal move so let's see now what happens okay so let's try to see what happens here so we try to build this code and then let's try to run it so animals speak don't you know and then animals move so one thing that we saw if c++ says that it provides polymorphism okay but if you see so animal this was the call that was made was animal speaks for speak and move were called for the animal class okay and it was not called for the dog class so that is not we expect for polymorphism that is just a general animal object is created okay so how to handle that so we want is that when I call for a dog object, if I pointing the base class pointer to a dog object, so if I call speak on that pointer, okay, so I want that, okay, the dog barks should be called and that is what is expected. You will expect that if it is polymorphism, that the base pointer is taking any of form of any of its derived class, then it should here call the dog class function where it dog barks and moves dog moves at 50 km per hour that is what we want and how you get it is by 
defining declaring the function as virtual so here is the keyword that will help you is known as virtual so we define the speak and move class as virtual so virtual and then void speak if you do like this in your base class so now your method so c++ will tell that whatever is the implementation in your derived class so you should invoke that using the base pointer so let's try to see this thing out so what we do here is that we just add a keyword virtual okay and then let's say that we are only adding now for the speak method and for better purpose for speak I can add it here but it's not essential so but it's good practice to add here in the derived class so that we remember it's we are overriding the base class method and its virtual function let's compile it okay so class animal has virtual function but non virtual destructor so this is important topic okay but we will discuss it just in a moment why we should have a virtual destructor so we now have compiled it and now let's see dog bark so the speak function is now working as we thought about polymorphism dog barks animal moves so now it is looking fine because speak is virtual and move is still not virtual so now the move method for the base class was called but the virtual method is given so the speak is called that for the derived class so what we can do here is we can add a virtual keyword here also you don't need to add in the derived class okay so dog class even if I don't write it will work fine and then let's see what happens we compile the code and then if you run it so you will get dog box and dog can run at 50 kilometers per hour so now we are getting polymorphism because based on the derived class you are now having the um, base class pointer you are now having the implementation of the derived class method so this is polymorphism so we now understand so just to recap what we studied here so we wanted polymorphism so polymorphism is that your base class pointer we have a base class pointer and we can use it to point to any of your derived class object okay and then if you derived class object can be pointed out and then you can define the methods virtual in your base class and then when you use the base class pointer those specific derived class implementation would be called so i hope you understand this in the next class we will see more use of polymorphism and some more better features of it so thanks a lot